transpiration in plants. All plants from the smallest weed to the tallest tree, which is several meters tall, need water. Plants are not mobile. How do they manage to get water right up to the tallest branch? The roots of plants absorb water and mineral salts from the soil through the root hairs by the process of osmosis. Only a small percentage of this water is used by the plant. The rest gets evaporated from the surface of leaves. This evaporation of water from the plant is called transpiration. Let us perform a simple experiment to show that transpiration takes place in plants. Take a medium-sized, well-watered potted plant. Cover it with a transparent polythene bag A and tie its mouth at the base of the stem. Next to the potted plant, place an empty polythene bag B with its mouth tied. Expose this setup to sunlight for an hour or two. Drops of water will appear on the inner side of the bag A. The polythene bag B will not show any water drops in it. The leaves give off water vapor and due to condensation of the water vapor, tiny drops of water get collected. This experiment shows that plants give out water to the atmosphere through transpiration. There are three types of transpiration depending on the site of transpiration. They are stomatal transpiration, lenticular transpiration and cuticular transpiration. Stomatal transpiration Stomata are openings on the leaf surface through which transpiration takes place. The stomata are surrounded by guard cells which help the stomata to open and close.